Hello friends. Today we will be discussing about the speed, units of speed and kinds of speed. So first of all, let us understand the speed. So in order to understand the speed, I give you uh, a, an example of two boys, uh, Ram and Shyam, running a 200 meter race. Ram is also running 200 meter race. Shyam is also running 200 meter race. Now imagine Ram finishes the race in 20 seconds. It takes 20 seconds time to finish the race of 200 meter. And Shyam finishes the same race in 25 seconds. Now uh, just think who ran faster. Obviously Ram because the rate at which Ram was running is 200 meter divided by 20 second is equal to 10 meter per second. Whereas the rate of running of Shyam is 200 meter divided by 25 second that is 8 meter per second. So in this way the speed of Ram is 10 meter per second and speed of Sham is 8 meter per second. So dear children it should be very clear that both Ram and Sham have run the same distance of 200 meter but one Ram is faster than Sham simply because Ram covers more distance in unit time. Now we can define the speed as the rate of change of motion. Rate of change of motion is called speed. Rate of change of motion is called speed. The speed can be found by dividing the distance covered by the time in which the distance is covered. So speed is equal to distance upon time. Now the unit units of speed. In the standard international system the unit of distance is meter and unit of time is second. So the unit of speed is meter by second that is meter per second and it is written like this meter per second. Now kinds of speed. We will be learning about the two kinds of speed uniform speed and non-uniform speed. So first of all uniform speed. See what do you notice in the picture that is there on the screen. Here is a car. It is moving from this place to this place. It starts at 4 pm, it reaches at 5 pm. So what is the time interval? 1 hour. And what is the distance covered? 30 km. Same car at 5 pm it starts and it reaches to the another destination at 6 pm. So the time interval is again 1 hour and the distance covered is 30 km. So what do we notice? We notice that car covers equal distances equal distances 30 km 30 km in equal interval of time 1 hour 1 hour so we can say about the uniform speed when a body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time the body is said to be moving with uniform speed. Now let us talk about the non-uniform speed. Here you see the car starts at 6 am reaches to the second destination at 7 am so the time interval is 1 hour and the distance covered is 40 km. From this destination to this destination starts at 7 am reaches at 8 am so 
the time interval is one hour but the distance covered is 20 km from here it starts at 8 am and reaches the other destination at 9 am so the time interval is one hour and the distance covered is 30 km what do we notice we notice that the car is covering different different distances in equal interval of time so we can define we can define uniform non uniform speed as uh, a body that covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time the body is said to be moving with a non uniform speed or it is also called as variable speed now here i would like to tell you one thing what is that that is average speed here you noticed time taken is 1 hour here also 1 hour here also 1 hour here the distance covered is 40 km 20 km 30 km so unequal distances in equal interval of time if we have to find out the average speed what we do we add the time 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 hour and total distance 40 km plus 20 km plus 30 km that is um, what is the distance 30 uh, 40 50 60 70 80 90 km so total distance covered is 90 km total time taken is 3 hours so the average speed will be total distance covered divided by total time taken to cover the distance total distance covered is 90 km divided by total time taken is 3 hours so 3 30 is a 90 that is 30 kilometer per hour is the average speed of the car so this was friends we'll meet again in the next video with a new topic till then bye bye